Hey now, TikTok talking today about the legendary Doxa Sub 300 No T Sea Rambler Silverlung from 1967. Now, if you were like me growing up in the late 1960s, early 1970s, there was nothing that spoke adventure more than the undersea world of Jacques Cousteau. Before there was reality television, we would sit transfixed by the weekly adventures of Cousteau and his team as they explored the undersea world. Now, along with his television show, Cousteau also developed and founded the Aqualung U.S. Diver Scuba Company, which was one of the very first companies to supply diving equipment to the brand new sport of scuba diving. Then in the 1968 catalog for U.S. divers, they offered three brand new watches designed by the Doxa Company, specifically for scuba divers. That was the Sub 300, which came in three versions. The most common, which is the orange dialed professional, the black and white dialed shark hunter, and the silver and orange dialed sea rambler. Now, as you can see here, this is a very early uh, version of it with the Aqualung US Diver logo printed on the dial. This is probably a prototype of some sort. It was a demonstration to US divers that they could have their logos printed on the dial. But only few of these are known to exist. The most common are the orange professionals known as the black lung, but even fewer of the shark hunter and sea rambler aqualung versions are available. Eventually the logo will appear on all doxes sold through US divers through the end of their relationship. Uh, the logo is skeletalized and that was because, if you can see, having a full colored, either two or three colored logo caused that hour hand to become obscured because the colors sort of matched. And that's why they went that way. Now, as a professional diver, I am absolutely in love with this watch. Uh, I, I admitted I came to the Doxa party a little bit late. Um, I've come full circle. I've managed now to collect almost all of the watches in the run. But this was the watch that I first fell in love with. The No T300 is just, it's got, it's a little thinner. It's got the typical dome crystal of the period. It's just got beautiful lines of the 1960s. And what I love most about it is the historical importance of this watch. It was truly the first tool watch designed for divers. It was not available in jewelry stores. It was sold exclusively through U.S. diver Aqualung dealers in the U.S. And it was designed with this rotating bezel, which was unique to the watch. All the dive watches up to this point had just a, like the Rolex Submariner, a minute scale for timing your dive. And you would set your bezel and count off the minutes. What Doxa did was, there are two scales here. There's the minute scale on the inner circle, but the outer portion has depth, which is actually the U.S. Navy no decompression table. Now, what is that you're asking yourself? All right, let me put on my instructor hat and uh, digress for a minute. Oxygen and nitrogen are the two gases that comprise the air we breathe. When you go under the water, your body ends up under pressure and gases dissolve in liquids under pressure. Think of a bottle of soda. When you've got the top on and there's pressure inside of the bottle, you don't see any bubbles because the carbonization is dissolved and being held there inside of the soda. When you pop the top, you hear a hiss. That's the pressure being released. When the pressure is released, the gas can no longer stay dissolved. So it turns back into a gas, which becomes bubbles, which now bubbles out of the soda. Well, your blood will do the exact same thing. If you stay under the water for too long or get too much nitrogen forced into your blood under pressure, it will return into bubbles 
And if you come back to the surface too quickly or too soon, you'll get something known as decompression sickness, or more commonly known as the bends, which is really serious, life-threatening stuff. So what this scale did, as you can see on the outside here, this was the US Navy table that it told you at any given depth, so let's say, let's take 100 feet, you have a bottom time of 25 minutes before you have to return to the surface. And that's how the watch worked. This watch has become so iconic that it has been re-released by Doxa recently, not just once, but twice. Once in a plain version, and then a second time more recently with the Aqualon logo. That just speaks to the legendary status that this watch has obtained. Just a few more quick notes. Uh, this watch came with an ETA 2472 automatic movement. It's quite reliable and robust. The, uh, the measurements are 42 millimeters, which honestly for a watch that seems small is, is, uh, is quite nice actually. Um, the other thing about a classic Doxa is all Doxas came with this grain of rice band specifically designed for the watch. It is a ratcheting style deployment clasp that was spring-loaded to accommodate the nature of a wetsuit. All Doxas came with this of the period. In fact, Doxa Sub 300 is embossed right there on the clasp. They are hard to find in good working condition. They tended to break and wear out. So when you look for your Doxa, the band alone may be worth the trip. Um, anyway, that is it for this time for TikTok talking. I'll, I'll be back again to talk more about sports watches of the 50s, 60s, and 70s. But until then, Stay safe, and we'll be talking at you soon.